we once again celebrate the birth of the babe of Bethlehem, Jesus Christ, or Emmanuel, as is referred to in our gospel, meaning God with us. Just to remind you uh, of the fact that we have to abide by the rules of COVID-19, so uh, you, move in a bit, huh? you wear your masks when you move, and you can get some more things in your seats, but if you move, uh, then you have to put them on. And uh, we try to, uh, I know it's going to be difficult, but we try to keep the children from moving around because of the same reason, right? Okay. We're going to, uh, we're not allowed to do any singing, unfortunately, except for the last uh, hymn at the end. But we'll Georgina's there, we thank her for that. So uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, please be seated, and we'll begin our service by singing, and not singing, sorry, we'll begin our service as Georgina plays uh, the real old Christmas carol, Come On You Faithful, number 75. You can follow in your book if you wish.
service this evening is a uh, service of Holy Eucharist, and it's found in the Book of Alternative Services, beginning at page 185. I ask you please stand. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Also with you. Almighty God, you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you know the secrets are hidden. Place the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthy magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace with his people on earth. Lord God, Amen. heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, and have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. If you turn to page 187, at the top of the page, the Trisagion, we'll say together three times. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one. Have mercy, mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Before we move uh, any further into our service, we're going to do the uh, candles and the Advent candle. So I'd ask you to be seated. And we'll call and continue the comments for the You'll find the uh, service on the inside of the uh, second page of your bulletin. Hope, peace, joy, and love. Four candles. Four promises continually offered to us by God. And all of them manifest in this one we like to make the Christ candle. In Christ we find the hope of transformation, the peace that follows justice, the joy of self-fulfillment in community, and the love that encompasses us in all our diversity, empowering us to make our own unique contribution to this world. In Christ we find light and life, and the courage to be like him, answering his call and following in his footsteps.
College Board today, which is found printed in your bulletin at the top of page three. <coughs> Together, eternal God, this holy night is radiant with the brilliance of your one true light. As we have known the revelation of that light on earth, bring us to see the splendor of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to ask Linda now she come forward and do our first prayer. <coughs> Psalm appointed for today is 96, number 96, and it's found on page 834. We'll do a psalm as usual, responsibly, and the first. <coughs> page 834. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all people. As for all the gods of the nations, they are of idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, that the whole earth tremble before him. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. We worship you, God of glory, in the beauty of holiness, and we joyfully proclaim your just and righteous rule, established for all through your Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. <coughs> Wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation 
of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify for himself a people of his own, who are zealous for good deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Ask you to remain seated now to the world. Gradual hymn, which is number 77, Heart the Hero of Angels. In that region 
There were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, he woke with the angel of multitude of the heavenly host. Praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace amongst those who he favors. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told. This is the gospel of Christ.
And he became incarnate. And that <coughs> word means that he took on our human flesh. He was born of a woman, Mary, a pure virgin, and the mighty God of time and eternity was coming to live amongst us, you and me, human beings, and to have our flesh and blood. If you read the Bible, you will find that down through the ages, God spoke to the prophets. That's how he got his message. However, this time it's different. He came to us in the person. My dear friends, therein lies the wonder and love of Christmas. Christmas is not just a time for filling up stockings with expensive gifts, although that is indeed a very important and pleasurable part of our celebrations. It's also a face-to-face -face encounter with the Holy One. Not a president, not a king or a queen, not a military commander, but God himself. In the fullness of time, when God was ready, he fulfilled his promise and came to birth, but as an infant human being, and his name was Emmanuel, or God with us. So today, once again, 2,020 years later, we wait to hear once again the good news of peace and joy, love and hope, liberation and redemption. Tonight is the night. Listen to the announcement of the angel once again. Unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. So on this holy of days, may the peace, the joy, the love, the hope that we find in the Christ child be brought to you and yours. May he find a place in each one of our hearts. From our house to your house, may you have a holy, happy, lovely, and blessed Christmas and New Year. God bless each and every
this evening will take the form of uh, litany number 13, which is found on page 120. Page 120. In our prayers this evening, we pray for those who are sick. On our prayer and care list, we remember those Gemma and Charlie, Janet Mercer, Linda Bear, Calvin Crane, and Keith Roberts. Any that might be known to you in the quietness of your hearts and those that are only known to God alone. We pray this evening for those in our hospitals, those who are sick. We pray for the shut-ins, those in our homes, the elderly, those who are less fortunate today. We ask God to, to look down on each one of them, give them his grace to stay. We pray for ourselves, who are so tested at these times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In joy and humility, let us pray to the creator of the universe, saying, Lord, grant us peace. Lord, grant us peace. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the mystery of the word made flesh, Hear us, O Lord, for our By the time, by the birth, in time of the time of Son of God, hear us, O Lord, for our By the manifestation of the King of Glory to the shepherds and the Magi, hear us, O Lord, for our By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary, and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord, Lord and our Jesus. By the baptism of the Son of God in the River Jordan, hear us, O Lord, Lord, Lord and our Jesus. Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord, Lord, Lord and our Jesus. We continue on page 191 and find the confession of the Apostle. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Neil, please. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in God, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have truly sorry and we not be repentant for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Stand. Normally what we would do with the extension and extending of the peace is to shake hands or hug, whatever, tonight. <coughs> Acknowledge people around you by just waving your hand or whatever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Our offertory hymn, it will be 
you know, offering taken, the offering, the plate is at the back of the church. If you have not already put your contribution in or whatever, uh, you can do that at the end of the service. Uh, we'll sing number 76, sitting, not sing, but uh, sitting, uh, number 76, Georgina will play while shepherds watch their flocks play. <laughs> Please join me in the prayer over the gifts, which is found in your bulletin and underneath the calling. Source of light and gladness, accept all we offer on this joyful feast. May we grow up in Him who unites our lives to yours. For He is Lord, now and forever. Amen. We will be using Eucharistic prayer number three. Eucharistic prayer number three. And that's found beginning on page 198. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Preface for Christmas Day. 
Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. We give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, who in the mystery of his incarnation was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother. In him we have seen a new and radiant vision of your glory. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices and sing our joyful hymn of praise to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, Lord our God, for the goodness and love you've made known to us in creation, in calling Israel to be your people, in your words spoken to the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil, and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, a death he freely accepted, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take ye, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, according to his command, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming on glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we made acceptable in him may be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, reconcile all things in Christ and make them new. And bring us to that city of light where you dwell with all your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And the breaking of bread is the sentence for incarnation number six at the top of 213. We break the bread of life. And that life is the light of the world. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.